This time on a moment of science, you spin me right round, baby. A moment of science. Whether it's from pushing a canoe paddle through the water or simply draining the bathtub, both produce that familiar spinning hole called a whirlpool. And its shape is well known. Wide at the top, narrow down below. But what makes the whirlpool take a whirlpool shape? The shape of a whirlpool comes from two forces acting against each other. First, there's the spinning of the water, which creates a force away from the center of the whirlpool. You can feel that first kind of spinning force by swinging a ball in a circle on the end of a string. The second is water pressure pushing back to the empty space. The first force is the movement of the ball. The second is the string pulling it back in, resulting in what we see as a spin. So what makes the shape of the whirlpool? Simple. Water pressure is always greater under the water than it is on the surface. The deeper you go, the greater the pressure. The greater the pressure, the narrower the whirlpool. And that's why whirlpools are always widest at the top. So back to our string. A better analogy would be a ball swinging around on a long spring instead. On a weak spring, the ball would make a very wide circle because the spring exerts only a weak force. That's like the top part of the whirlpool where the water pressure is also very weak. Down below, the pressure acts more like a strong spring, and so the circle's a lot tighter. And then, all the way at the bottom and beneath the whirlpool, the water still spins, but the water pressure is now too great to allow any airspace at all. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. Science! <laughs>